Welcome back. While well, the memorial service of the Matuetue film actor Sibosi Kuinana will uh, be held today at the AFM Hilltop uh, Center in Shoshonguve, the actor was stabbed to death in a robbery last Friday. Our reporter, Fenza Sitimo, is there. And let's cross to him now live. Hey, Fenza, uh, thank you very much indeed for your time. What's the mood currently there? Well, the mood is currently very somber, uh, Blaine. You can uh, understand that this was a rising star coming from Soshanguve, actually making waves, uh, drawing a lot of crowds to the box office to see the movie Matuetwe. And uh, there's a sentiment that, you know, he was gone too soon and that uh, he was actually going to be one of the stars of the future, actually. Uh, what we've heard as well is that uh, he was uh, uh, the fourth child, actually. He had three siblings and then he had a four-year-old daughter but actually joining me now to give us further information is one of his childhood friends that is Tapelo Mwati who's actually going to tell us uh, how it was actually growing up with Sibusiso Quinana. Thank you so much Tapelo. Uh, can you just tell us uh, how did you know Sibusiso Quinana? What type of a person he was? Uh, Sibusiso Quinana was a very kind person. The person who always like wanted to see you know, everyone succeeding in life. He also told me about, like, I should not never give up on my dream. I should uh, push harder so that I can succeed on my dream. Yes. So, okay. And then how did you receive his, uh, his break into the acting, in, into the acting career? Uh, I, I don't know if then I can, I, I understand you. Can you rephrase the question for me? Okay. Uh, how did you feel after he broke into the acting scene with the movie Matuetwe? I was very proud of him because of, like, uh, he was one of my best friends and then like I was so excited for him. He told me that I should come and then like I went there. I organized a transport for him so that he can see that I'm a very true friend for him. I organized the quantum and then we went there and watched the show. Okay. As you can see right behind us, uh, we're expecting that uh, there will be a hive of activity today. So we believe that uh, Gauteng Premier David Makura has just arrived. He was actually around Mabopane and uh, there were some reports that he's actually going to come uh, to give condolences to the family of Zbusi Sokwinana. And right behind us, we can see his convoy uh, actually arriving now. We will try to get a chance to speak to the Premier, hopefully after he has addressed the family uh, and then we'll try to speak to him as well uh, but going back to the friend um, can you just tell us uh, growing up what type of a person was he I heard you say that you were shocked to find that uh, he tried to approach the person that took his phone I heard you say that he wasn't a violent person yeah it's true that because like uh, Spusso Kunana is not the person who likes to fight or argue with some people on what so Spusso Kunana was a, uh, this kind of person who who won't fight you back if then like you tease him or do anything you bully him and what? I don't expect him to fight back if then like maybe you took his phone or what. So I was very shocked if then like they told me like Swiso Kunana went back fought for his phone. But then I don't blame him for fighting back for his phone because of like uh, he only had that phone only for two days. So maybe that's the reason he went there and fight for his phone. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, you know, the, his passing has actually left the community of Sochanguve distraught and heartbroken. What message would you give to those that are left heartbroken by his passing? Uh, I would like to say that uh, as a community, as a friend, as a family here, uh, like, let's just try to be together and then, like, celebrate with Sokunana's life and then we'll try to be strong. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. We'll be okay if then we fight this thing together. Sure. Okay. Uh, that was Tapelo Mwati, who's a childhood friend uh, of the actor Sbusi Sokwinana. And we're expecting a hive of activity today. As you see now, the Gauteng Premier has actually arrived. We're going to be moving from here to the venue of the memorial service where friends, family and next of kin are expected to pay their last respect. With that, it's back to studio. Oh, Vince, uh, just with regard to the circumstances surrounding his uh, death, uh, we've had some reporting saying that he was attending the screening of a movie at a cinema in Arcadia. Has police made any leads regarding the suspects? What's the latest? 
What we understand is that investigations are still underway and it's truth, as you said, uh, he was coming from the screening of a movie and he was actually waiting for an Uber with a friend when one of the guys actually came and grabbed his phone and ran away with it. But as things stand, we haven't had the latest update as to whether there have been any arrests, but we'll try to speak to the law enforcement agencies just to find out what is the latest. Spencer, you used the words gone too soon and uh, star of the future. Tell us about Quinana and his body of work thus far. I mean, he was a young man just breaking into this industry. But what has he done thus far in terms of his career? From what we've gathered so far, we understand that he was quite passionate about theater more than television. So he, he co-founded a group that was actually developing young actors here in Pretoria, uh, training them and trying to create opportunities for them as well. So he was someone who was actually more passionate about theater more than film. But uh, his big break, of course, came through Matwetwe. That's how all of us actually got to know him. But apparently it's someone who's actually been involved in the theatrical arts for quite some time. Just give us the TikTok of the day of Vence. What time is the memorial service likely to start? The memorial service is expected to start around 11 o'clock here in Soshanguve. It's at a venue of which the name I can't uh, recall right now, but it's not so far from the home of uh, Quinana. All right, Offensive Satima, thank you very much indeed for your reporting.